Welcome to Tasker Step by Step Tutorials. Today, I am going to show you how to locate your lost or stolen phone by sending a text message to your phone number. This is a good project to build upon it. But for now, we are going to track the phone location and sound an alarm if the phone is just misplaced. Maybe in later tutorial we can add talking photos when the screen is turned on and write location to file in case you loaned the phone and want to know its location. So let's get started. Open Tasker. Click on Home in left bottom corner and select Add. Give your project a name, I just call it Locate. Make sure you are in the Profile tab, then click the plus sign, and give your profile a name. I just called my profile Locate. Select Event for a trigger, then select Phone, and then Received Text Message. Change the type to any. And for the sender, click on the tag and scroll down to find text message from. Which means text from a number, that way you can send a text from any phone. Then in the content area, enter the phrase you want, it must be simple to remember, but not simple enough so that somebody might send to you, like, I love you. I put down locate. Remember that the phrase you enter in Tasker must be the same exact one you send in the text. Click the back arrow. Select New Task. Give your new task a name, I am calling mine Locate. Click the plus sign. I am going to use a plugin called Secure Settings. Try the free version first. I liked it so much, that I got the Pro. You can use it to do so many things in Tasker, like turning GPS on or off. Click on Plugins, and select Secure Settings. Click the Pencil Edit icon. Click System Actions, and scroll down to GPS, and turn it on or make sure it is turned on. Be sure to save before clicking the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Click on net, then Wi-Fi and turn it on. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Select location. Notice that GPS is in red, it's because Android doesn't allow Tasker to toggle it. Next, select get location. Change source to any. And time out to 30 seconds. Tick the boxes, continue task immediately and keep tracking. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Click on task and select wait. Select 30 seconds to give GPS a time to get location. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Click on net. 
then HTTP GET. Enter the API URL link in the server port area. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Click phone, then send SMS. In the number area, enter a phone number or click the tag icon and scroll down to the task a variable, text from, the combination of variables and phone numbers in this field might not work as I thought it would, I recommend using the variable text from. You can also add another number if you like. You can Remember, you can ask Tasker to send the location text to certain numbers and not the phone you text the phrase from. In this number area, you can list as many number as you like by clicking the search icon. This in case you sent the phrase text from a stranger phone, but you have to set this in advance of the phone being lost. In this case don't use variable text from. I am just going to use the variable text from. In the message area. Enter the URL on the left, http colon double forward slash maps dot google dot com forward slash question mark q equals sign dash percent sign loc. Note that there are no spaces because this is a link. This is the link that you are going to receive from your lost phone, and when you click on it, it will open Google Maps with your phone location. Notice the variable percent loc at the end is in capital letters. This is the task a variable for the location we got in step 3. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Click task, then wait, and select a wait of about 5 seconds. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Click on plugins, and select secure settings. Click the pencil edit icon. Select system action. Scroll down to GPS, and turn it off. Click the save icon then the back arrow. Click the plus sign. Now, I am going to add a wait of about 3 minutes, before it moves to the next step, which is a go to step 1. This is a repeat, so it keep updating the tracking of the phone, you can make this wait longer or shorter. Click the plus sign, click task, select wait and set it to 3 minutes. Click the back arrow, then the plus sign. Click task and then select go to and leave it at 1. Click the back arrow.
I am going to add an alert ringer or music player, in case I lose it around the house, so when I text the phone, it will start playing music instead of sending a text. I am duplicating the profile we just made exactly. And I will rename the duplicate as ring my phone. The only difference is that phrase I will text, will be ring. So every time I text my number the word ring, it will start playing music. Click the back arrow. Select new task. And call it ring my phone. Click the plus sign. Click audio. Then select media volume and set it to 15. Click the back arrow. Click the plus sign, then click on media, and select music play. Click the search icon to find the music file you want play. Click on the file you want, then the back arrow. Click the plus sign, click on task then select wait, and set to wait for 30 seconds. Click the back arrow, then the plus sign. Select media, and then select music stop. Click the back arrow. Let us see how it works. I am going to text myself the word, locate. Remember it is going to take about one minute for the GPS to load and find the location. In the texting app. Click on the text message, and it should open Google Maps. Like I said in the beginning, this is a good project to add to it, like remote lock, taking remote photos, so I am going to call this video part 1, and will come back and revisit it at a later time. Thanks for watching, and please vote thumbs up if you liked this video. Let me know in the comments, if you have any questions.